What is normal spinal disc? If we look at our vertebral column or spine, from the side it appears like this. These are bones and in between the bones we have discs. So these two are the discs. A normal disc is like this. It is well placed over the bony part that is the vertebral body. It is away from the spinal cord and it is away from the nerve root. So it perfectly sits over the bony area and it has two components. The peripheral or the side component which is known as the annulus and the middle portion which is known as the nucleus pulposus. So a normal disc normally stays away from nerve as well as the spinal cord. But when this nucleus or the annulus part shifts posteriorly or backwards and start pressing either the nerve root or the spinal cord, that is when we start getting symptoms like sciatica or pain radiating down the arm or leg or numbness and tingling in the legs. So under normal circumstances, this annulus part or this disc always sits perfectly on the bone and never touches the nerve roots. So a normal disc is like this. In the early stages of life, in the young age, it is thick and it perfectly protects and gives cushion between two bones. As the age progresses, this cushioning part becomes less, the disc starts losing its height and flexibility and slowly it starts shrinking. And that is when it can move backward and press onto the nerve or spinal cord depending on its location.